Hi everybody, my name is Ditesh and today we are going to explore different ways to use in operator in Power BI. Now let's head to Power BI desktop and get started. Here is the PBX file and as you can see we have relatively small data set with three fields, product, country and unit. We have product of different categories like X series, Y series and Z series which are sold in different countries like US, India and France and the units sold. So today what we are going to try is we want to use the in, uh, in operator and use it along with the if statement. So assume that we want to classify these products into premium and non-premium. So if I'm using a regular if statement, I can simply write like if this product is equal to this and then I can call it as premium. So if you have an extensive list, right, it becomes really cumbersome. And then if there are frequent changes, uh, it, it becomes extremely difficult to manage the Power BI, changing the code every time. So what we can do is we can simply create one of our Excel flat file and then update this Excel file whenever there are frequent changes to the classification. So now if I click on this classification, right? So you can see we have the list of products and we have categorized whether it's a premium and non-premium. So if you are wondering, okay, why can't we use a join between product and the fact table? Yes, it's doable. But in this demo, the ultimate objective is to see how we can use the in operator. So now let's assume that I'm going to create a new column here. And name this as regular product equal to assume that the first product XP1. Then let's call this as premium else non-premium. So this is the regular way to do the classification. Assume that we have a uh, multiple lengthy list, right? So what we are going to do is we, we are not going to use this one. Instead, we'll use a variable. Variable, assume that it's a premium. Let's first get the list of the premium products. I'll use a calculate table with the values function. Product, filter, category equal to premium. Okay, so I'm passing this all the products where which are categorized as premium into this variable. And then I'm going to use the return statement. Return. If fact product in this and call this as premium. Okay, let's see. Hit enter. So now if you notice here, wherever it's classified as premium, we are getting the values. Now let's do another variable. Let's add another variable. This is for non-premium. Instead of premium, let me rename this as non-premium. And then here, copy this again, paste it here. In this is non premium. Rename this is non premium. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. So you can see we now have the classification which is here premium and the non premium. So this is one way to do this, or uh, this is one way to use the in operator. So the next operator is let's assume that uh, uh, instead of uh, rows, uh, we have the classification based on different uh, rows, right? Instead of rows, assume that we have it in a single line, something like this. So we have two columns. One is for premium products and the other one is for non-premium products. So now using this, we need to classify 
on this here into premium and non-premium. So I will add new column. This is using a text search equal to. Again, I'm going to add a variable here to get the premium products is equal to again I'm going to use the values from dim single line so premium products okay so if you want to see what this will return we can simply call this If you see, we'll get the list of the premium products. So these are the premium products. So we are going to use the text search now. If how of contain string function within text. So what is the within text? So this is the variable right within the premium and we are looking for this product if is true then we'll name this as premium okay close the parenthesis and hit enter so we know it's a premium because it's it's gonna check this product in the text string. Now let's add one more variable here. Let's name this is non-premium. And here I'm gonna change instead of non-premium products. And here copy this again. Just to save some time, change this to non premium, rename this to non premium. Hit enter. So, as you can see, we are doing the text search within this single line. So, it depends on the, uh, the way the data has been structured, we can use the in operator. So in the in 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 the past in one of my demo I have used the in operator in row level security. So this is very powerful and it can be used in multiple ways according to the situation. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. And thanks for watching.